Hello, let's talk about opportunity cost and compar comparative advantage. I've already started an example here just to save some time. We have two people, Jan and David, made those names up. And we were looking at time to clean one room in hours. So we have two hours for Jan to clean a room, five hours for David to clean a similar sized room. Jan on the other side, side here can uh, paint a room in four hours. David takes what, five times longer to paint a similar room, while David takes two and a half times longer to, um, what, clean the room? So it looks like David is relatively, comparatively, not as bad in terms of cleaning the room. Or in other words, Jan is, is a lot more productive in cleaning rooms. So what we'll see later is it looks like Jan is going to have a comparative comparative advantage in in painting, David in cleaning. But let's look at it. One of the best ways of looking at this is looking at outputs. And I'm going to change my color here to green. And so let's draw it over here. One of the best ways to calculate comparative advantage, I think. And let's make it a little darker so it's a little easier to see. So let's do our chart over here. So we have Jan, we have David, we have, uh, let's say we ha take 40 hours and we're trying to see their output. So this is rooms cleaned and this is rooms painted in 40 hours. Okay, so if you have 40 hours, Jan can clean a um, clean a room in two hours, 40 divided by two, I would think she could clean 20 rooms. On the other side, um, David takes five hours a room, 40 divided by five should be pretty close to eight. Looking at painting, four hours to paint a room, 40 divided by four is 10 rooms could be painted or on this other side, 20 hours per room, obviously two rooms. Now notice what we have here is if, ta if she takes these two hours to, if Jan takes these two hours to clean a room, that's uh, time that she's not available to paint. Likewise, if he's cleaning, he's not painting. There's a trade-off. So let's calculate our opportunity cost. There's several ways of doing it, but what, again, what I like to do is calculate from the output. So here's Jan, here's David. And actually, let's change colors here just to put it, um, let's put this in blue to show our opportunity costs or whatever color this is about to be. So here's Jan. Here's David. And so we're going to look at opportunity cost per room. And this is uh, for cleaning. And this is going to be for painting. I'm not sure why that line, it's okay. Let's not have a line there. There, paint ing and opportunity cost. Per room. And notice what we have here is if Jan, we have 20 and this is cleaning. I'm going to put a C for cleaning. She can either take 20 rooms to clean or she that means she's giving up 10 rooms she could paint. So if I'm trying to say per room, well I'll just divide both of them by 20. And so we have one room cleaned. We have to give up 
what? Um, one half room painted. So we'll put that right here. Opportunity cost is one half, or vice versa. If I do 10 rooms painted, um, 20 divided by 10, we're going to have opportunity cost of two. So in other words, if she spends time cleaning a room, she gives up half a room painted. If she spends time uh, painting a room, she gives up two rooms she could have cleaned, which you could see from up here. You know, here's you know, per room she's giving for each 10 rooms, the opportunity costs 20. Well, same relationship per room, you give up two. Down here with David, David has uh, eight rooms he could clean, or he could do what? Two rooms if he painted. Well, I want to do cleaning, so let's divide both by eight. And so for cleaning, we give up a fourth a room that could be painted. So I'm going to put one fourth right here because one room cleaning opportunity cost per room um, for cleaning gives up one fourth of a room that we could paint. Or if we did it for um, painting, this is going to be four, which is going to be my, uh, well, just look at this, eight divided by two. And this is two divided by eight. So now if we're trying to calculate the opportunity cost, what I want to do is find the smallest number. Well, which one's the smallest? And let's put this in terms of, uh, let's choose this color right here. Which one's the smallest, one half or one fourth? Well, one fourth is smaller. Four or two? Two is smaller. Opportunity cost says specialize in what you do at the lowest opportunity cost. One fourth is less than one half. David should specialize in cleaning. And Jan should specialize in painting. So hopefully you enjoyed this.